right, YouTube, so we gotta do this story time in the car, okay? However, this does make it a little juicy, you feel me? Because it happened right here in this car. <laughs> Shot, it's hard to grow up. Niggas ain't fucking with you, so what? Sit your ass down, get your dough up. I don't never judge with my nose up. I'ma blow up. What's good, YouTube? Alex on the cam, back here with another video. Guys, today we got another lit video for you guys. We got another lit one. As you guys can see in the title, I'm bringing you guys a story time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to hit that like button for me down below. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Join the crew. You already know what it do. Baby, boo, show. Oh, hit that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video and let's get right into it. <laughs> so this story time will be the first time I got into a situation where I basically had an opportunity to um, clap them cheeks, you pay on me. <laughs> it was my first time, you know, getting into a situation where I could have had a one night stand as everyone calls it, you know. This was about a year ago. By the way, if you guys hear some dogs in the background, don't. You know, don't mind that. But yeah, a year ago, I was really into like, you know, going to clubs and partying, doing the whole nine yards, just like going out, having fun, okay? It puts a smile on my face just really thinking about it. <laughs> I used to go out like every Friday and I used to just, you know, turn the hell up. I used to like really live it up. Anyways, it was one. Bro, shut the fuck up. So it's like one Friday, okay? I'm over here wanting to turn up and I'm trying to hit up people saying like, yo, what's the move for Friday? You know, what's up tonight? So of course I hit up my YouTube friend that I always used to go out partying with. And I was just like, yo, bro, what's good with it? Like, what's, what's good for tonight? He was just like, actually, I totally forgot to even tell you, but um, I'm going to a club tonight. It's for my boy's birthday bash or whatever, and we got a table on all types of stuff, you feel me? I was like, oh, what? He was like, yeah, nigga, yeah. Alright YouTube, so sorry for the um change. We gotta do this story time in the car, okay? However, this does make it a little juicy, you feel me? Because it happened right here in this car. <laughs> All right, YouTube, so to finish off where I was at, okay? My boy invited me to this birthday bash. He said they got a bottle service, they got a table. You're welcome to come. And I was down. You guys already know I was ready to turn up, so I end up showering, getting ready, getting all dressed up. You know your boy was looking good. <laughs> you know the kid was looking good. I got ready, I went down to LA, and I met them at this club, okay? When I arrived at the club, it literally sounded popping. I get out of my car, I text him saying that I'm there. By the time I check in and pay to get into this club, I'm texting my, my YouTube friend like, yo, like, where you guys at? I'm inside. He ends up texting me saying he over here, boom, 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 wow, wow, wow. So I end up finding my boy, all right? And then I'm looking down at the table he's like with. And I see two girls and that's it. And I was like, where, where the homeboys at? Like, where the homeboys that we usually party with and the person that I'm supposed to be meeting? All I'm seeing right now is two baddies at the table. You feel me, though? He was like, oh, the boys are getting drinks right now. You feel me? He's like, so just hold up real quick. Just hold up, right? So when he was like that, I was like, okay, well, I'll hold up. I'll wait for it to meet this dude, all this stuff. But then, like, single me, I was like, but who are these chicks at our table? Like, I'm still not getting it. Like, <laughs> So the guys end up coming with the drinks and um, we all over here taking shots. And while we're all taking shots, my boy introduces me to his homeboy saying like, yo, what's up? This is my boy, Alex, you feel me? Me, boom, boom, boom. This is the birthday boy, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, yo, what's good? Nice to meet you. Happy birthday. All that good stuff, right? All that good stuff. I want to jump to the good parts, okay? We having a blast that night, okay? Turning up drinking. I'm talking about drinking, drinking. Getting tipsy, motherfucker. We were turning the hell up, okay? It was a good night, but it was uh, memorable. I'm gonna fast forward to like, I would say 12 o'clock 
the juicy part. It's like 12, one o'clock, okay? I'm gonna say one, actually. We all out of here dancing like a ma. You know, the birthday boy, my homeboy, me, the other homeboys, and the Tatianas. You, oh, let me not say that. <laughs> and the two girls that I saw at the table, like they were all dancing with us, okay? At a certain point, y'all, I do remember this, okay? I remember me getting really tired at one moment from dancing so much in the club that I just had to sit the hell down at our table. You know, I just remember me having to sit down and take a breather because I was about to faint up in that bitch. <laughs> so I remember me walking over to our table and I see, you know, the girls sitting there. You know, the girls that I originally saw that night, I saw them sitting there, you know, still chilling and blah, blah. I was like, I was so drunk, by the way. Guys, I'm gonna be hell. I'm, I'm gonna be drunk. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be drunk. I'm gonna be blowing with y'all. I was drunk as hell. By then, you guys know, I was hella loose to just talk to anybody. So I was just like, yo, what's up? Like, y'all still here? Like, why y'all not dancing? They were just like, oh, like, um, we're just sitting here watching you guys dance. So it's funny, right? While they're saying this, I'm over here sitting down, right? And then one girl was like over here talking, finishing her sentence, okay? I sit down. They both asked me like, why are you not dancing? I said, <laughs> you see how much I'm sweating? Like, I, I, need to, I need to take a break. As soon as I say that, a banger comes on, you feel me? I don't remember. It could have just been a regular song. I was just, we all were drunk, so it was just a banger for us. All I know is a banger came on that we all agreed to, and we all started dancing. We were like, oh, shit. We didn't even give a fuck what we were talking about right then and there. This is when it gets into the juicy part, okay? This is when the one night stand thing starts to come about. Both of the baddies get up, okay? My black ass is still tired, and I'm sitting down, okay? But I'm like, oh, shit. You know, they got up, started dancing. I was looking at them, right? <laughs> Memories. I was looking at them, y'all, and um, when I was looking at them, like they were just dancing, all sexual and all types of shit. Like, boom, boom. They were doing all that, right? They were being extra as fuck. I just remember my drunk ass liking that shit, though. I was like, oh, okay, I, I'm liking it. Put on a show, ladies. <laughs> so I'm over here watching them, right? My drunk ass ends up getting the courage to um, get the hell up and dance with them. So I start dancing with them, right? I get my tall ass up and I start dancing with them. I'm like, oh, okay, we over here grooving. Okay, with both of them. My intentions were never to get both of them or even one of them. Because at the time, once again, I didn't know who they were. And I was just like, I was vibing. You know, I was just vibing. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> now with the album out, are you paying attention? So I start dancing, right? Right? One girl gets right in front of me and starts grinding on my ass. I was like, oh, suck it, suck it. So we over here vibing, you feel me? I'm over here. Boom, boom. Hey, boom, 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 boom. We over here geeking, you feel me? I'm just telling y'all the little details, okay? I remember her ass was looking back at me. She was giving me that look. Oh my gosh, that girl was so dangerous. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm dead. This is how she was looking, y'all. If she was looking back at you. Yeah, you like that? Just to give y'all a little image, she was um, definitely painting an image, a sexy image of her. Her friend peeped it, right? The girl that she was with, she peeped it, and she actually backed off. Like, she didn't want no parts of it. She was just hyping her up. At that point, she was like, hey, get it, girl. At that moment, we all knew that there was something about to go down. She was drunk. I saw her drinking with us, so I'm pretty sure, she, and I didn't see her, like, you know, taking a little itty-bitty shots. You know, she was getting that bottle, <laughs> uh, you feel me? So you know she was a real one. <laughs> Period. I'm just playing, but yeah. So getting to the point, y'all, the girl that I'm dancing with, she's over here giving me this look, and I'm just like, what the hell? Like, this shit low-key sexy. <laughs> and it's crazy how everything happened when I think about it, but as soon as I, I just thought that, she just rose up, and we started like dancing face to face, and then boom, we started making out. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I've never done no freaky shit like this in my life. I've never been in this situation in my life where I've made out with someone that I didn't even know at the club. That's kind of dangerous, actually. <laughs> I was 21, um, I just went through a breakup. I was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna be reckless. So yeah, I end up making out with this girl and things really get intense. I wanna tell y'all low-key the details. While we over here making out, you feel me? The older people would know about this, but when you go to a club and you reserve like a table, there's like benches, like there's like seats that you sit on and they're kind of low to the ground. This girl pushed me on one of them and um, she 
straddles me, she gets on top of me, and she starts grinding on me, and we over here making out in the club. I was like, oh my god. Thinking about this crap was crazy as hell. I'm pretty sure we looked like we were having sex in the club. <laughs> okay, so this is when it gets crazy and disrespectful but funny and oh my god we over here doing all this wild stuff all this extra stuff in the club right everyone's looking at us okay I'm, I'm just gonna put that out there we're both drunk we're over here making out with each other and just it just probably looks all crazy and she's over here grinding on me her skirt is coming up everyone can see all the cheeks that she got you feel me i'm just like oh my god like so my boy Oh, I was about this. My boy comes up to me. He comes up to me. He was like, yo, you need to chill, bro. You need to chill. I was like, why I need to chill? Like, <laughs> why? 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 It was so loud in the club. I couldn't even barely hear what this dude was saying. I'm over here making out with this girl and she's over here grinding on me and I'm intoxicated. I couldn't really quite grasp what he was saying because I was too focused on other things like the music and the vibe, you feel me? All I know is that he said, you need to chill, bro. That's what I do remember, okay? And I was just like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll chill. Pushing him away, right? So he goes away and um, I was just like, boom. Went back to the action, you know? So I would say like a minute later, like he literally comes back. Like, and he's just like, bro, chill and i was just like what are you what are you saying i can't hear you the music is loud like what he said bro chill like the dude that you met the dude that you met like the birthday boy that's his sister bro like you need to chill bro i was like what the and i was you know intoxicated y'all and i was thinking this i was like what no way i'm doing this with this boy's sister and she's doing this right in front of her brother like what my like, holy crap. But at the end of the day, I am gonna be a man, you feel me? And I was just like, but hey, she wants to dick. You feel me? So if she wants it. Oh, damn. I'm gonna fuck her. She is cute, you feel me? I'm I'm gonna do me at the end of the day. <laughs> Getting to the point, y'all. He ends up saying like that's her brother, like, and he sees y'all doing that and he feels very disrespected, like we just met. You over here making out with my sister. I kind of, I got it. We were making the same regardless. So we, yeah, we did stop, but she was just like, uh, I wish we had a place to go. I, I'm going to be real. I was like, I have a car. It, it works. You feel me? I was like, I got a car. She's like, yeah, take me to it. So when she tells me that, that's when she gets up off of me and that's when we end up stopping, you know? So we both end up getting off the benches and we start heading towards my car. We end up going towards the exit and luckily the bathrooms are like right by the exit. So she said, hold on, I need to use the bathroom. So I was just like, okay. I was like, me too. So we both take piss. We come back out. We go to my car, okay? So, oh my gosh. When we get in my car, I just look at her straight up like this. And I'm just like, yo, like you want to smoke? When I ask her, like, do you want to smoke first or anything like that? She just goes straight into making out with me again. There was no talking. There was just boom. Fuck what you got to say, nigga. Let me start making out with you. Let me get that dick. So we start making out. I'm not going to cap. I'm getting hard. You feel me? I'm just like, oh my Oh my gosh this shit about to go down i'm over here about to have my first one night stand we're making out i'm getting a woody i get a knock on my freaking window it's my boy you know knocking on the window over here talking about yo where's she at you know her brother's looking for her now at this point i'm kind of bothered you know he's he's being a little cock block in my eyes and i'm just like bro you know she with me Tell her brother I said that shit too. Like, that ass, stop killing the vibe, let us do our thing, and we'll be right back. You feel me? We'll be right back. It ain't gonna take too long. <laughs> so I roll up the window. I basically handle it like that. And he was just like, okay. Like, I'll try to cover for you. I'll try to see what I can do. So as soon as he leaves, we look at each other. We, we gotta step this shit up. You feel me? So I pull down my pants. Oh, damn. I pull down my pants, right? And, um... <laughs> She got to the bop bop. She over here doing the whole nasty. You feel me? I was like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, she over here slurping me up. You feel me? And while I'm enjoying it, she doing it, right? All of a sudden, boom. Someone knocking on the door, on, on the window again. So she hurry up and gets up. I'm over here putting my, my stuff away. I'm like, keep in mind, y'all. I got 10 of windows, okay? You can't see through that bit. You cannot see through that bit, okay? Anyone that knows me, they know my car. You cannot see through these windows. But yeah, I, I put my stuff together and I roll my window down. I'm like, bro, what's good with you? He's like, 
you gotta hurry it up. Like at this point, he wants to leave the club now. He's looking for a sister because they're Ubering. So they gotta go right now. And in my head, I was just like, bro, I was just, I was just getting some dumb. You feel me? Like I'm trying to get in the balls. Hold up. I'm gonna be blunt with y'all right now, okay? Boom. As soon as he left, I look at her. She over here like, uh, put on your pants. Put on the condom. I pull down my pants, okay? I get me a condom, boom, right out of my glove compartment. And my shit was soft. By the time all this shit was happening, this shit is soft. So I'm gonna tell you guys an embarrassing thing, okay? This is the most embarrassing thing that I will say on YouTube. And I want you guys to smash the like button after I say this, okay? We did everything in our possibility to have sex. Two, three minutes that we had, we tried having sex. And what I mean by that is she tried to give me head again. And um, your boy couldn't get, you know, excited anymore. So at a certain point, she was just like, okay. Okay. And um, she got out of my car and um, we said bye. And we never talked again. <laughs> so